Hi friends, Candy Hines, Superstar Director for the Firefly family of teams. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Active in April. So as you know, Consultants Worldwide has this mission in uh, April to get active. And so I'm gonna give you an idea of how to create some really great with boxes that with only four to eight orders, you can get active or get 200 more. And the great news about it is that you don't have to have any experiences creating your own with boxes. You could be somebody that has customers that normally get with boxes, but don't want it this month because it's pet themed. You could not have a creative bone in your body. You could have not sold anything for the last three months. It doesn't matter because I'm going to give you all the instructions, all of the printables, all the collateral, every piece of uh, the puzzle that you need to make this happen. And I'm going to do that all in conjunction with this video. So you will see in the content of this video, I have this list of instructions and that's what I'm going to read off of so that you can kind of do those in tandem. So you've got the written instruction. I'm going to take those uh, through you one by one so that you have the explanation and the visuals to go along with your instruction sheet. Okay. All right. So the very first thing is the tools and the supplies that you need. So first, I think probably I should show you a little example of what this might look like, right? Okay, so this can be uh, the Squeeze the Day scent crate that's all lemon themed, or you can do the Apple Ever After scent crate. Um, I call them scent crates with boxes, whichever. Um, they're personal with boxes that you can do. So you can do either one. So this is an example of what the lemon one might look like. And I'm gonna show you all the goodies inside here soon. And then your Apple, Apple Ever After will look like this. And I'm gonna show you how to make those. And you, I know that we're all quarantined. I know you can't get to your craft store. Um, and I don't want you spending money. I don't want you going on Amazon or having to buy anything. So I tried to create something that would be, um, would have the ability for all of you to do it from your home. So there's very few things that you will need to leave for or to order out for or whatnot. Okay. All right. So the things that you need is a printer and paper. You're going to need scissors, hot glue, and a whole hole punch. You're also going to need bags or bakery boxes to put all of your stuff in. Then you're going to need personal labels and business cards, something you normally need for your business anyway. And then you're going to need some ribbon or some string. And then if you're shipping, you're going to want the flat rate padded envelopes. You can get those free at the post office. You can order them in, although it takes a little while. You can order them in from USPS as well. And then the last thing is this isn't a must, but it's a super simple, easy DIY. And you can actually advertise it because it doesn't cost more than the percentage since he says that it has to cost to be able to advertise it. So you can put that out there. But you're going to do this fun DIY and all you need is to when you're corn cleaning, go find a few shirts around your house that you wouldn't mind parting with. And then you're going to cut those in half inch strips like this. It's just a t-shirt. And then I'm going to show you a really cool project that you're going to do with them. And you can kind of play around with what colors that you want to do. Okay. All right. So number two is determining the products. Now just bear with me. I've got all the content here. So if you need to reference it back, but so you're going to decide on the options here. So you get to choose one if it's going to be a lemon or an apple crate. That's the first thing. Then you also get to choose if you're going to offer a $25 crate or a $50 crate or if you're going to do both of them. I keep saying crates with boxes, either one. They're interchangeable. And then for if you're doing apple, then of course you get to do all the apple um, cleaner. If you're doing lemon, you'll do all the squeeze of the day. Okay, so then for the $25, if you decide you're going to do $25 um, boxes only, then you're going to need eight of those to equal that 200 PRB. Now, the two options that I'm going to give you for doing that, one, a bar, a circle, and two counter clean um, or two cleaning options. So between, of course, the dish soap and the bathroom cleaner and the counter cleaner. Now, the second option is whiffs, a bar, and then you pick one of the cleaning options. Okay. Number two for the $50 option, you get two options there. So you could either um, put pods, a mini fan, a bar, a circle, and two cleaning options, or you could do the pods 
mini fan widths, and then the two cleaning options for that one. Really the difference there is the bar and the circle and the widths are kind of um, interchangeable. So kind of decide which one that you want to do there. And, um, and that way you have a little bit more of flexibility of options of what you want to give to your customers, okay? Now for the $50 one, you only need four of those orders to be able to get to your 200 PRV. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how to do that next, okay? So number three is marketing. So for your toolbox here, I'm going to provide you all of the imagery that you need. So I mocked up all of this stuff and took photos for you. And so you have lots of options that you can use and you can use it to advertise as your own. So nothing has watermarks, everything is available for you. I created it for you to use, okay? All right, so you are going to want to start marketing your box. Um, of course, after you determine what your box is gonna be, you make sure you have the tools to be able to do it. That's when you start marketing your box and you wanna do that for the first part of the month. So I usually like to market through around the 10th or so. And then around the 10th or so is when I place the order, okay? So your best results will be with multiple touch points, mediums, days, and times. Your worst result is gonna come with one social media post. If that's all you do, it's not gonna work for you. So at a minimum, I recommend one, posting on your newsfeed, your VIP group, your business page, any of the like buy, sell mom groups that you can post to. Two, private message your customers directly and ask them for the order. Like, hey, I'm putting in an order for these super cute, show them the photo, lemon bundles or apple bundles. Would you like one? You want me to put you down for one? Super easy. Um, number three is adding it to your newsletter. So your customer's uh, newsletter that Sensi sends out, you can edit that and add your photo in there. And then number four is post in progress pictures on social. So while you are waiting for your order to come in, you can be posting your order and say, oh my gosh, look what I'm making right now. These are super duper adorable. Um, and every time you do a little post like that, you're gonna get one or two little more hits or orders, and then that's gonna add up for you. And then the last is following up with every reaction, every comment, every like, and just saying, hey, I'm putting in that order right now, last chance, do you want in? And that way you can collect as many orders as you can get by the 10th. Okay, so now it's the 10th. So number four is placing your orders. So you wanna make sure that also in that time you're collecting all of the money so that you have the money to spend. It's not family money, you're spending the money that your customers gave you. So you want to make sure, just a couple notes here, you wanna make sure that you're entering a 200 PRV order so that you can get rewards. Because those rewards, that is what allows you to, that's what allows you to be able to pay for the extra uh, value that come in the boxes. And so I'll talk to you about that a little bit more, but essentially what we're talking about is a $27 value or a $52 value. So to cover that and to cover it, the little bit of tax, then you can use your rewards to do that. So you are not out of pocket on any expenses, okay? All right, you also wanna make sure to charge shipping to non-locals. I wanna put that in there because a lot of times I see brand new consultants that do this for the first time and they don't charge shipping. No, no, you have to charge shipping. Um, you can decide if you wanna do a flat rate, if you wanna do an optional, like it's only $5 or whatever, but it's gonna uh, cost about seven or eight to send it in a flat rate UPS um, envelope if you do that through pirateship.com, write that one down. Um, all you need is a kitchen scale to be able to weigh it, to be able to send it through there. Uh, it's only gonna cost about seven or eight through there. But So if you wanna do a flat rate five, that's what I do, you can or not. If you, I don't want you to be out any money. So if you need to charge the full thing, please, by all means do that. Okay, number five is your extras. Well, let me talk a little, let me say one more thing on your placing the order. Um, Cause I want you to understand that. Cause I think it's one of the biggest um, issues that people have that haven't done this before that they have that they kind of hang up on. So let's say for example, you decided that you're gonna do the $25 option and you got yourself eight orders in. So you've got $200 in um, and 200 in PRV ready to go. So with that, you're going to need eight bars and eight circles and eight cleaning products. 
Well, when you bundle those, you're also going to save. So six bars is going to save me six dollars. On the cleaning, I'm going to save two. On the circles, I'm going to save three. So when we collect those and we bundle them, then we're going to save some cash, right? And so um, there you might save around $11 or so. And then I'm going to get $20 in rewards for the party. So that's around $31 already. Plus, I've got some half-offs to use. So let's just say like bare minimum, I got $31 to use. And then I divide that by six. That makes it where I'm saving $5 off of, hey, will you, sister, Scarlett, will you shut that? Kids are home for um, quarantine. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Like, thank you. <laughs> um, and so that is saving you $5 each on those bundles, which covers your tax in that $2 extra in value. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, ask me questions. I'm happy to help you. But once you put everything in, you're going to see that you can more than cover um, your cost. Okay, and then if you're doing the $50 option, that's four orders, but I wanna say make it a goal of six because six is whenever you start being able to bundle things in six packs and get things for free and you can even get more um, out of it. So it's almost like if you get um, five orders, you almost get the six for free because of how, the, how it bundles. So if you do that, you're gonna save $10 on pods, you'll save $6 on bars, et cetera, et cetera. You'll get 20 to $30 in rewards and um, you'll get some half off. So at the bare minimum, you're gonna save 40 bucks there, which comes out to $6.50 savings on each bundle, which means again, you can cover your overages, you can cover um, your tax as well. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions. Okay, now, uh, this is my, this is the fun part. So while you're waiting for your order to arrive, you are going to start, um, making your DIYs. Okay. And you might've started this before, but this is when you're, when you're like advertising, but this is when you're actually going to finish them up because you know how many that you're going to need. So you're going to get three shirts in different colors and you can do the colors that kind of match these bundles. So I'll show you here the um it fell to the bottom i think <laughs> or it fell on the floor oh it did <laughs> oops okay so the colors for this lemon bundle it's gonna look like this i just grabbed three shirts that kind of look like that so this one is actually an old bandana this is shirts so you can wash those and wash your whiffs first. And all you do is you cut it in half inch strips like this and you tie the ends off and then you braid them into a long strip and then you tie them off again. And it's a cute, cute little bracelet. And so it's just this fun little whimsy bracelet. And this one says, um, Lemon Joy Braid. Okay, bye, I love you. Um, and it says, this handmade bracelet weaves together reminders to honor the everyday heroes and those lost. Spencer, can you shut the door? Have faith in a resolution and to see the joy in today. And then it says, squeeze the day um, bundle. Hey, Spencer, could you shut the door? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, so it says, squeeze the day boutique at the bottom there. And so um, these tags all will come with your bundle of your tool box, okay? All right, so how you are going to do those again, just take, if, you know, while you're corn cleaning and you find like t-shirts or like bandanas, fabric, whatever, you're going to get at least three different colors and you're just going to braid them together. It's just a little braid and, you know, super messy and perfections make it even better and uh, braid it and then tie it off. So cute little DIY. Now, um, the other option that I did in my crates this last month is I made little bandanas. So it's kind of a little nod to the world that we're in right now, but this is the fabric I used. So it's like a cute little, um, a cute little neckerchief that they can actually like wear as a neckerchief. Um, or wear as like a non-medical grade um, face mask when they go out in public. And then I matched that fabric and put that as the backing for my box that I put it in. And then I used that, I cut it in strips 
like this, and I use that to tie it as ribbons on things or whatnot. And so if you have fabric around, or if you want to purchase, you do not have to, um, you can purchase fabric and utilize it in a lot of different ways. Now, if you love this fabric, because it's gorgeous, you can actually get it online at Hobby Lobby. It's called the Lemon Apparel Fabric, and you can use the 40% off coupon on it. The shipping kind of stinks, um, but I think you can get a yard of it for like $11.99 when it's all said and done um, with shipping. So if you want to go that route, you can. Um, and then you might have bandanas lying around, and bandanas work the same way. So you just cut bandana in half, just like this, and then you can use that as the same thing, or you can use that as a way to make your bracelets um, too. So you can see that one's a bandana in there, and you can get those on Amazon Prime for pretty cheap, and you can get those in if you have if you have Prime, if you wanna buy. Again, I want you to be able to make this happen without spending um, your own money out of pocket, and so make sure that you make good, wise financial decisions. Okay. All right. Now, oh, and then the last thing I was going to show you is I do have, so if you do the bandana option, I do have a tag for that too. Just says lemon love bandana. And let me see what it says. It just says imperfections add character, all natural, non-medical grade, style as a neckerchief or wear for impurity protection. All right. And then um, here's another option. So you can use the paper or that fabric to make a backing if you do the boxes. Um, and if you want a link to those boxes, so I, um, I'm a big uh, personal with box of column set crate person. So I do this a lot. So I buy things in bulk. So if you want to have links for any of the bulk in bulk items, let me know. Okay. So let's see what is next. So that is our extras, that's number five. So now we're number six, which is the fun part, it's the styling. And so we're gonna put it all together. So we've got all of our extras made, we've got all of our product, our order has arrived, um, and then you're going to print off everything, all of the labels that I'm providing to you, and you're going to add those to all of your products, and then you can pack it up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so this is, the idea for the for the lemon one. Now I provided you digital paper, so you can do any combination of whatever that you like. But this is one option. So it's just cut a square out literally, and then just made a little tag out of this, and you can put the name on it, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to show you what the products look like inside. Now there were some product options, so this isn't everything that they might get, but it's all of your options just to show them to you. So they get their crate, they're super excited, their box, and they open it, and then they're going to get, oh, look at that, what is this? <laughs> so everything's tagged, so this is Cincy Clean, that one says made, it's a made in a bottle. And then everything is matchy-matchy, this one, Cincy Clean, it says made in Idaho, USA. And then the little Scentsy Wax Bar has the same Squeeze the Day Boutique label on it. Same thing for our washer whiffs. It says Love Your Laundry. And then they get a little lemon in their box. And then this is another um, creative way that you can utilize that paper. So you can just cut the perfect square of like your um, mini fan diffuser and just put that on the top. I didn't hear this all the way because it's just mocked up just for you guys, but you could do that because it's not covering up any instructions or any legal stuff. So you can put that on your box. You wouldn't want to do that on the back for sure, but you can do that on the top. Now, um, if you want, if you do the fabric option, what I did with my fabric is I cut it in long strips and used it as a ribbon to tie on here and so I made like a big old ribbon with my fabric and so you could do that if you do the fabric option. Okay and then that was the little squeeze the day. It's a little squeeze the day set circle and that just says hang freely and then of course they also get that cute little bracelet. All right so let me show you the um, apple one now. So again, these digital papers are coming your way. So you can just print these out any combinations. I've got um, different colors of these, whatever you like. Uh, this is just another piece of yellow paper. You can make that as your tag. And then you can do whatever string that you might have. This is just Baker's twine, but whatever you have. And this is a little fun option. So 
if you have something like a boxwood um, a bush outside, I love to like take little clippings off of them and add them to uh, to my crates and um, to kind of spruce things up. You want to kind of do that right before you deliver them so they don't um, wilt, but they're pretty cute and it's like really organic and really fun. Um, so that's an idea that you could do. Now, this is all very similar. I just literally changed out all the apples. So it says, um, that says Appley Ever After. So it's the Appley Ever After Boutique and that's all the wording on there. The other cleaning with that tag. You've got your circle. That red and white Baker's Tron is really cute on it. Again, the same idea here. That was the mini fan diffuser. Uh, your washer whiffs. Your, this one I tied it on there so you could do either one. So I tied it on there. The wax bar and then an apple inside. It's all fun. And then I got colors that matched those. So I got a yellow and a blue and a white and I made this cute little bracelet. So it's all a braid. And again, the braid signifies um, the handmade bracelet weaves together reminders to honor the everyday heroes and those lost have faith in a resolution and to see the joy in today. So just a reminder that we're going to get through this. Um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, maybe it's something that's special enough to where they can wear it and they can actually feel it as a reminder when they're getting anxious, when they're getting worried, when they're getting concerned about what's happening. Like, okay, I got hope, I got faith, I got joy, and hopefully that's something that's um, special to them that they'll remember um, you by. So just a quick little DIY. And the fun thing about it too, I might have mentioned it before, but it doesn't, it's okay to post that that's included because it doesn't um, go over the 10% cost of the product that you're selling. If it costs more than 10%, then it you couldn't advertise it because it'd be personal special, but it's considered gift wrapping because it doesn't cost 10%. So that makes it where everything here is um, in compliance. Now, the one thing I do want to note is that especially because of the options that I gave you are a little bit more than 25, a little bit more than 50, you can't publicly say the price. You can publicly post the photos and say, who wants one of the lemon crates? I've got a couple options. I've got a big option. I've got a small option. You just can't publicly say the pricing on it because then it shows that you're giving them a personal special. So that's the only thing compliance wise that I want to make sure that you know of. Okay, I think that is everything, guys. I hope that's helpful. I hope that it helps you get some PRV this month, whether it's your 200 to get active or 200 more. I also hope that you get way more than 200 um, um, and that all of the instructions are super clear um, and easy for you to follow. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck, have fun, um, have fun with your little craft projects. Make sure you post all the photos of you and your kids making those. Make those for your, your kids and your family too because they're, um, they're pretty cute and easy little craft to do. And one t-shirt will make like a hundred of <laughs> these little bracelets. And so, and there's a lot of crafts that you can actually do with those um, shirts. Like you can make a lot of little jewelry things with them. You can use marbles and like wrap the marbles and make little cute things. But anyway, there's a lot of little fun crafts that you can do with those. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day, a great April. Hope you're staying safe and um, healthy at home. And you know what? We are going to get through this and we're going to get through it together. And you know, hashtag since you strong and hashtag um, active in April. We've got this. Hope you all have a great one. Talk to you soon.